and we're here at the Embedded World 2022. Hi. Hi. Uh, so please introduce yourself. I'm David Aber uh, from Cantera. We are an uh, HMI tool provider uh, for embedded systems. So uh, we provide a tool called CGI Studio. CGI Studio is a designer oriented HMI tool to create embedded HMIs. As you see here is an automotive, automotive sample. The automotive sample uh, shows here the car and the infotainment, so the infotainment cluster. This is running on an uh, Renesas R-Car H3 um, using real-time uh, rendering via OpenGL. And also the info in, in vehicle infotainment system is here integrated. And with our tool, it's possible to create uh, HMIs with just yeah, a few clicks. It's design oriented so if you're a 3D artist, it's easy to use our tool, create HMIs. There is no coding required. Um, it's what you see is what you get. And yeah, you create a high performance embedded HMIs. Uh, so what's happened since last year? How many things improved and changed? Yeah, there are actually some completely new things. Um, you can see new demos over there. Um, we have here some automotive demos and also non-automotive demos. Uh, we have the automotive weather demo here. This is a real-time uh, rendering of um, outside effects in a car. So you can have weather reflected. You have also, let's say, from the other system, also input. You can see also here an instrument cluster based on Etradio 2. Uh, so this one can actually create it in just a few minutes in our tool. So in, let's, oh, let's say less than an hour. Uh, less than an hour you create such an uh, HMI. Here you have a uh, medical device. Uh, this basically is an SDM32 MP1 series. Um, so running on a smaller screen with Linux, but perfectly for medical devices or white goods or stuff like that if you want to animate stuff, do 3D uh, animations, integration and so on. We have here a robotic industrial demo. Uh, this one runs on an iMix 8. Um, we can also uh, modify directly and interact with 3D models uh, on the screen and uh, save data points and also do animations with 3D. So this would be perfect to enrich, let's say, industrial products with a maintenance screen uh, to have available, um, let's say, more interactions than a classic matrix display or other input devices. Here we have a coffee machine sample. Um, also for, uh, let's say, white goods market, uh, coffee machine could be also, for example, um, yeah, enriched with 3D animations and stuff like that to have, let's say here, really a premium user interface available. Um, moreover, you could also imagine doing stuff like uh, creating a fridge, an oven, a washing machine or something like that with CGI Studio. So actually these demos are done, let's say, within one working day. Uh, here you have even 3D interactions on it. So the tool is completely orientated on 3D artists, so it's possible to create HMIs uh, quickly. So instead of having software engineers working with these samples, you are using um, 3D artists to create them. There is no coding required, and they are created yeah, in a very short time. Nice. Um, so it's just getting more beautiful, the embedded UIs? Yes, exactly. So one advantage is, as we are using OpenGL with our platforms, um, also non, uh, of, um, let's say, uh, also MCUs, thanks, yeah. um, also MCUs uh, without and with the graphics engine. So uh, maybe maybe you show some demonstrations in there a little bit. Ah, yeah. Um, here you see uh, our CGI Studio with some of our key features. So uh, this is actually our product. And what, you see, what you see is what you get design tool. Um, so if you're familiar with 3D tools from the 3D authoring space, um, let's say um, like Blender or even gaming industry like Unreal Engine or Unity, you can start directly creating embedded HMIs. Uh, so it comes bundled with a lot of uh, useful feature sets uh, to support you. For example, the Smart Importer. Um, here you can see it. The Smart Importer is a tool basically allowing you importing assets uh, from the Photoshop. Okay. Importing, okay. Hmm? Importing. So Photoshop, Adobe, X, um, uh, Adobe XD, Sketch, or even Axura B can be directly imported. 
and enriched. Uh, moreover, what else can we show you? Yeah, some of our partners support the platforms, so we are really hardware independent, so you can use CGI Studio running on nearly any platform. Um, also, different operating systems, Linux systems, uh, specific real-time systems, and also uh, using without operating systems, so to really bring out the maximum performance from your platform. And, yeah. Cool. Uh, what kind of discussions are you having here at the Embedded World? Uh, what do people come and talk about? What do they want? Uh, HMIs. <laughs> Just more and more tools? So, actually, most people are interested in creating easily and fast HMIs. Um, so, the HMI sector is moving from a software engineering sector to a, um, let's say, designer oriented market. So, this means that users are typically a different kind of role. There's there are artists. Artists should create HMIs, not software engineers. Moreover, this speeds up the development. If artists directly create HMIs, uh, they can focus on the design, on the output, on the quality of the product. You don't need the software engineers, on the other hand, to coordinate between designers and software engineers. And this makes it actually yeah, quite easy. So here we have a lot of positive feedback that our tool provides the capability to allow artists creating HMIs directly, run it on the hardware immediately. So I typically suggest that you have, let's say, if you develop a CGI studio, you have a designing tool, creating bitmaps, stuff like that on the one hand. You have CGI studio creating the HMI, and next to you is directly the embedded hardware. You can bring it to the target just with a few mouse clicks and run the HMI directly there, test it already, um, record some videos directly from the hardware itself, to forward it and to see that, let's say, the new HMI uh, is running on it smoothly with high performance and without any coding. So no software engineer is required when you want to create HMIs. Nice. And uh, since last year, there's just more and more people coming into your ecosystem, more people trying it out? Yes, absolutely. So new markets are opening. Um, as time goes by, um, uh, a lot of new controllers come to the market. So. Also based on Muse law, controllers get cheaper and cheaper every year. This means that it's open space for new uh, markets. So the automotive market um, offered premium HMIs. Uh, currently we see that the market is offering in more and more segments, uh, like white goods market or the medical market, um, HMIs with a high quality. So the new controller generations make it possible to use HMIs on, let's say, washing machines, for example. Um, so people are demanding it. So yeah, we get a lot of feedback and a lot of customers coming to us to actually ask us uh, for supporting them how to create HMIs and using our tool to then actually provide the products. Uh, do you have a feeling like the embedded industry is growing and uh, there's more and more money in there? or? I think so, yes. I think the biggest problem only will be the chip shortage, but yeah, in general, yes. What do you do to solve the chip shortage? As we are a software provider, we can't do much, unfortunately, <laughs> except that we are providing high performance. What we see is that due to the chip shortage... Uh, with people want the high performance. Yes, people want high performance, but it's also that the current serial production controls are not available. As they are not available, you're looking for a lower class, which could be still bought, for example. So with our high-performance platform, it's possible that you still can achieve or create the products, uh, deliver the same or a similar performance, and downgrade the CPU. If you switch to Scandera Studio, as we have, let's say, high, highest performance on the market, from a rendering perspective. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Nice Thank to you see very much. you in real life. Yes, it was nice to meet it's you. It's a little bit different than the video chat. Yes, <laughs> it was right. nice to meet you.